morning, it's Amanda. How are you? I'm here to do pick a card. It's very dark. I don't know whether it's ah, oh, that's better. It was my phone, it was doing weird things. How are you this morning? Are you wonderful on Wednesday? We are gonna do pick a card to give you some a little bit of guidance, it's a personal message, you get to pick your own card, your own message. We're going to do it right now, but before we start, let's set the intention. Close your eyes, go within for a moment, think about what it is that you want to manifest. Think about how it'll feel. There you go, you've set the intention. Who have we got with us today? Let's have a look. Morning Martha, Rosie. Hope you're all well. I'm going to shuffle. I don't know where this, this... Well, I do know where the sun's come from, obviously. But I don't know how I'm getting that light there. It's uh, it's a bit strange, that. <clears throat> hey, Helen. I'm good, thank you. Morning, Mary. Corey. Kath. I've been thinking about our retreat, Kath. I'm really looking forward to it. And I can feel, you know, my voice feels all sort of husky and mm, spirit aligning up. Spirit aligning up for us today. Oh, and the cards are coming out ever so quick. Right. We've got them. All three flew out the pack. So, morning, Dotty. How are you? So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to hold the three cards up. You're going to use your intuition. You're going to use your inner guidance. Now, remember, that is something that comes to you instantly. There's no like, oh, I'm not sure. You know, you just go with what feels right. OK. Hey, Christine, how are you? And yes, if I run a retreat next year, definitely you must come. Sharon, hello. So here are the three cards. Card number one, card number two, card number three. Please just go with what feels right. If you want more than one, do you know what? Go for it. Be greedy. You can have more than one. But I'm going to tell you what the messages are on them in a moment. So start typing in card number one, card number two, card number three. If you feel you can share it out, I would really appreciate it. Because everybody needs to know they've got angels. Everybody needs to know they've got more control over their own destiny than what they think. Oh, Corey, Rosie are going for card number two. Kath's going for one. Dottie's going for two. Three for Helen. Interesting. Anyone going for two cards? Claire's gone for two. Johanna's gone for three. Anita's gone for one and three. There we go. We've got our first person that's been greedy. Good for you, Annette. I like that. Card number two for Mary and Brenda. One and two for Jane. Oh, oh, Christine, that sounds exciting. Or, mm, there's a, actually, honestly, I need to tell you, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. There's these huge, huge shifts happening. And we are, you know, we could just be thinking we're having a bad day. We could just be thinking things are really affecting us. We're being a little bit super sensitive. But there's so much going on. There's this, like, um... I feel like there's an awakening and a movement going on. I felt quite giddy a few days ago. And now I'm just like not really sure how I feel at all. I'm like a little bit like, oh, it's all a bit, a bit weird. Like I don't really know. Nothing's clear. Nothing's like, I don't really know. I know sort of what I want, but I'm sort of getting myself caught up a little bit in the how. And actually I had a huge manifesting malfunction yesterday huge and i am going to share it with you all at some point but i'm still working out what exactly i did wrong and i think it was i was too much in the how and i was telling the universe how i wanted something so yeah look out for that post because i'm really wanting to be more uh, more honest with you and telling you about how i manifest and how i create because um, I think it'll really help you because you know what we're all in this together and this is a journey this is a real real journey Jane says feeling the same Christine too yeah and it's only about the journey because when we're manifesting and I've said this quite often but when we're manifesting we think you know oh I'll be happy when I'll be happy when the lights doing weird things today um, and it isn't it's about being happy on the journey to get to wherever it is you want to go because when you get there, there will always be something else that you want and 
all we've got is now and if we are not having as much joy and fun and laughter and love in that moment of now we are missing the point massively massively so i'm sort of trying to be more present and be in the now and i'm getting a lot clearer on who i want to work with and um because i sort of really i've always worked with everybody that just had a dream and just wanted to make it happen and and i'm feeling less of a fit with that right now and i'm feeling more of a fit with um, you know, working with people that are absolutely passionate about what they do, about having a message to share with people and doing similar work that I do. And yeah, and, and people with businesses, people with goals that, you know, want to uh, really make a difference and are so driven and, and just really have that, that clarity. And I think as well, oh, I don't know, I'm going off on one today, I do apologise, um, but I think it's important, Ellie's getting a little bit excited too. I think as well, sometimes when we don't really know what it is that we want, we've actually all we've done is lost our connection with ourself, and ourself of course is connected to source, so we've lost our connection with source, and when we make some time for that, we can really get so much more clarity on uh, what we want and how it'll all happen. The light is doing weird things for me. Is it doing weird things for you? Because I am... I know I feel like I'm in the dark now. Anyway, let's get back to the cards. I do apologise. I've gone on a ramble. Hope you found it helpful. Give me some hearts if it was helpful for you. Joanna says, I'm stuck between I can do this myself and I would like a relationship. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if there's some fear behind that as well. I'm picking up fear. Oh, thank you for the hearts. It made a bit of sense to some people. Good. Uh, what else did people write in right then? Ah, uh, people putting the cards in. Mmm, grounding is good right now. Ha <laughs> ha! My uni! You feel like you're in a tumble dryer. <laughs> I love that thought. Okay, right, let's do this before this light goes totally bonkers. Right, card number one. Accepting. So if you are, a pit, or if you have picked card number one, shall I say, this is very much about, do you know what, accepting where you are and saying, you know, stop trying so hard. Stop forcing things that don't feel right. Do really you know just take stock of what you've got and give yourself a pat on the back and sometimes it's a good idea to look back a little bit and see how far you have come because we're so often looking forward we don't realize how we've changed and how we've evolved and i've had two conversations recently one with my mum and one with my ex-husband and we were both talking about how we've changed and how like because i've got a big birthday coming up 50 in, uh, in march and that really makes you start thinking oh my goodness look you know how much um has happened but quite often when we're in that in that place of just in the mundane run of life we don't realize how far we've come so you know milestones like birthdays and stuff quite often make us uh, reflect and think but actually, you know, it's, it's a bit like I said before, it's all about being a little bit more present. So give yourself a pat on the back and say, look, you know what, I'm doing all right. Give yourself some reassurance because this is what this card is about. And do you know what? As well as giving yourself a pat on the back, remember that the universe has got your back. And you can step forward with ease and grace and harmony if you stop putting up the fight. So that's the message on card number one. Something big is happening at the moment, folks. Car really is. Card number two, boundaries. Oh, this is coming up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, and the boundaries have to start with you. Having boundaries with yourself. It might be boundaries with how much self-care you're doing. Boundaries about what you'll allow yourself to spend on yourself. Boundaries about um, how you spend your time. Boundaries have to start with you before they can start with anyone else. But, you know, recognise your own importance is the message with this today as well. Um, it's a real, really important message. And it feels like as well, you might be actually feeling like 
things are shutting down, think doors are closing, but I want to say to you, there is actually doors that are opening, but you're so busy looking at the doors that are closing, you cannot see the opportunities that are coming in for you right now. Look for butterflies as one of your signs. We are butterfly crazy around here at the moment. Butterfly after butterfly, and they're turning up. You know, I've I've got a nighty right, and it's um, oh my god, I've just seen oh my life. I can't believe this. Right, I need to tell you something. Sorry, I'm on a big ramble today. We did Magic and Miracles Challenge in Abundance Club last week. And one of our things was to manifest butterflies because quite often we don't see what's under our nose. And yes, I see the butterflies flying around. I think, oh, that's lovely, you know, and I know that's a sign from my angels, just as this card is telling you, if you pick card number two, to look for butterflies. But we did this, and when we are manifesting, when we're working on manifesting muscle and we're getting good at manifesting and we're practicing the art, when we are... <laughs> <laughs> we when we are doing that we um it's so good for our big manifestations that we want so i always get people to practice with the little things and butterflies was one of it and this is no word of a lie and if you're in abundance club you will know because of the live that i did in there last week so we had this challenge and we're all counting butterflies and i got a bit bored of counting butterflies and gave up because i was got so many and then it wasn't until I was on live and I looked out of my window behind my screen here and I saw on my fence butterflies. Now, I knew those butterflies were there because they're ornaments and I put them on my fence. Put them on there last year. But when I was counting butterflies, I never, never, ever, ever saw them. And now I've just looked at the same window and in this window there is a screen, okay? And the screen has, guess what on it? It has butterflies and I hadn't noticed till now. It's like the other day, I put a nightie on that I've had for years and I didn't even notice in the pattern was butterflies. One of my bags has butterflies. So what is under your nose that you are not even seeing right now? You are asking for something and you are expecting it to come in a certain way to you, but it's not coming. So you're thinking you're rubbish at manifesting because it's not turned up and actually it's already there. And if you didn't say how you wanted it to turn up, you'd realise that. And if you opened your eyes a bit more and you were a little bit more connected, you would see you've got already everything that you need. Oh, big message on that one. That was a ramble. I don't know what's happened today. I have no control over this. No control. It's just going. Right. <laughs> God, blimmin' out. A new spirit were present, but the flipping kicking through today. Yes, I am in a tumble dryer, my own. <laughs> if you've gone for card number three, it's a friend card, and it feels like it feels like you need to take some time to be with the people that get you. That um are on the same wavelength that are non-judgmental you know maybe your friends are you know the ex they're expiring maybe you have um come to the end of the road because they're a bit of you know the negative nellies and the maybe just not seeing the bigger picture like you are right now so maybe, <laughs> it is sally maybe you're needing to you know attract new like-minded friends and do you know what that's easier than you think everything to be honest is easier than you think so this card is a reminder that you need to take some time with the people that really get you and can connect in the way that you can connect and understand you know what you're on about this is why it's so good to be in groups and even if you you know your friends around you your you know real friends um are perhaps not on the same journey as you are it's good to be in little groups on facebook where you can connect with people so you know if you've got great friends go and be with them if you need new friends manifest them manifest them just like you would with everything else so these are our cards somebody said all three seem to be relevant today i'm certainly on one today certainly on one let's look at your messages because when i'm uh, channeling i cannot read and channel um yeah there is something in the air for sure for sure yeah, you know, you might have lost, feel like you've lost yourself, but 
you never really can lose yourself but if you give yourself a bit of time louise i am sure you can connect as lots of people feel like they're on a spin as well fearful lucy yeah <laughs> i'm sure you'll get to the end of the cycle my uni sometimes you know what you just need to bite the bullet and go for it no it happens it happens i did um uh, my uni i'm talking to you really I, I did a big cleanse of of friends and i'm you know what if you get to hang out with me consider yourself um one of the chosen few because i don't hang out with a lot of people i'll be honest I, i'm friends with a lot of people but i don't spend a lot of quality time with um with, with people only if they are on my wavelength now because because I don't want to not be really true of who I am and if I if I can't talk about you know energy and angels and the universe and manifesting and all that if I can't talk about that and be myself there's no point me being in that friendship I won't fall out with anyone but I will just choose to spend time with people that get me and actually, I am so grateful for my kids because my kids live, breathe and devour law of attraction and angels as much as I do. They might not they might not admit it outwardly, but we have some awesome conversations. And yesterday on my manifesting malfunction, they were brilliant at bringing me back and just saying, look, you know, maybe this has happened. Maybe this has happened. You know, what about this? And reflecting stuff to me and going, you know, no, you're just looking at it in a different way. And and having that support is absolutely awesome. And I'm so glad the way that I've brought my kids up that they understand that because they are the greatest support in uh, in that. And I spend a lot of time with them. So that's that's wonderful. That's it. I think I might be done. My motor mouth might... <laughs> might be slowing down now <laughs> wow what a session i'm sorry i rambled hope it was useful for you actually i'm not sorry i rambled that that would not be true i felt that was something i needed to share and i didn't have a lot of control of it that's it <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your wednesday remember whatever happens your angel is just an ask away i will be back friday 10 a.m but I won't be here next week because I'm having a week off. So see you then. Bye for now.